All right, let's see. All right. T37s for what? Let's see. Ay, ay, ay. There it is. Money actually did now. <laughs> it has been confirmed. Money actually just entered the chapter yeah. rails. <laughs> There's some money in there. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know what to say, man. What, what are we looking at? There's a lot. I mean, there's a lot to start with, you know, but uh, I mean, I got to give a shout out to obviously Entice Motorsports. He pretty much did all the work in this shit from the fab work to the lines. Literally everything you see mm -hmm. here was done by Entice Motorsports. Um, so all that piping, the intercooler piping was done by them. Um, the intercooler was at the core. They made their own end tanks and pretty much did all that themselves. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, okay. And they have their logo. The little logo in there. Awesome. You know, vibrant clamps all <coughs> around. So when you brought the car to them, <coughs> uh, was it still non-turbo? Uh, was it automatic or manual? It was manual, but it was non-turbo still. So okay. what I did was pretty much brought the car to the shop. Mm -hmm. We pulled the motor out and from there, literally towed it to paint from there. And then oh. I eventually I brought him the motor. He worked on the motor here and there. And then okay. once all that was ready to go, paint was done, brought the car back and, you know, started like setting everything up in the engine bay. Were you planning to go this crazy or, or in times motorsport was that no. nice? That, that one friend <laughs> that tells you, man, just it, do this. If you're going to do it right, do it right. The name you know? says it all. It entices you to do all this shit, man. No. Fucking, nah, I didn't plan to get this crazy with it. <laughs> I love but, it. Uh, Little by little, he just started throwing ideas at me, and we just ran with it. And you know, super worth it. I'll it was worth it because it came out clean. I never intended for the car to get this crazy. <laughs> I wanted a simple, you know, just a single turbo swap, and that was it. He but, enticed you but to, to go that good way. We got a little crazy with it, and I think, you know, it waited a little longer than, than it should have taken, but I think the wait was worth it because it oh, should yes. came out stupid clean. Good to my opinion, good things yeah. take time. You don't want nothing <clears throat> rush. Um, okay, so let's start off with. The motor, uh, what has been done to it, and then from there we can continue. So the motor is still pretty much stock, mm -hmm. stock block, stock head. Um, the only thing we really did was replace, you know, gasket, seals, water pump, oil pump, everything OEM that we could change, we Refresh changed it. out, uh -huh. refreshed it. And then pretty much from there, we just got an upgraded intake manifold, upgraded exhaust manifolds, the ETS manifold with uh, dual t uh, tile wastegates, you know. Mm -hmm. Nothing crazy, just simple. Just try to clean it up as best as we can. Delete what we didn't need mm -hmm. or don't use, I should say. Definitely, okay. <clears throat> and then um, obviously the turbo, let's talk about that setup. What do you have going on? So it's a comp 67 millimeter turbo with the ETS manifold. <laughs> so yeah. nice. Nothing crazy, a little, little small turbo. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> and then every single plumbing, it was done here at Entice. Done here at Entice, yeah. Wow. So this would be your one stop shop if you had anything done. And you mentioned the valve cover with the valve caliper. cover. Yeah, that was also painted by Art. Also by Art. Art Castillo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And then we have the uh, bug performance brake booster delete. Ooh. So typically people don't do deletes out here, but I I wanted to run one, so mm -hmm. it looks cleaner in my opinion. And then even the lines. So the brake booster delete comes with you know their lines and shit. Oh really? John at Entice decided to take it apart and do his own lines. All cut. So all that right there you see is all custom lines done by John here. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So all yeah. the lines are done here. Everything was done here. Man. The details, right? The details. Yeah. Everything you see, even from the little brackets in the fuel pressure regulator, done here. Oh, okay. Even from these in the back of the firewall. Yeah, the, the clamps that they do yeah. in different sizes and everything. That was custom made also. Wow. <coughs> That's crazy. Anything done to the intake? No, it's just stock intake. Everything's you know, every, okay. It was, yeah, just like that. Okay. <coughs> kind of wastegate and uh, blow off? So the wastegates are uh, f uh, 44 millimeter tile wastegates, mm -hmm. running two of them, and then the blow off valve is a tile blow off valve also, and we also color match that also to the what the valve. valve. Yeah, I mean, I, I like <coughs> those touches. I, I really like those touches. How you're just very subtle. Yeah. And I mean, this color combo is, is great, man. Yeah, it flows good with the white. So nice. Feel. Feel. It's on 91 right now. 91. Yeah, it's 91. Enough for you, or is that something in the works that you maybe? Don't uh, ask John because he'll tell yeah. you. <laughs> uh, for me, it's enough. 91's enough because I, I wasn't making crazy. I didn't want to make crazy power. Mm -hmm. You know, 85. Uh, not only that, but I'm burning fuel like crazy right now still. So I mm -hmm. couldn't imagine how, how easy I'd <laughs> kill 85. So right now I'm cool with the 91. You're good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like the honesty, man. Yeah, I get you. Um, we also took out the uh, the stock clutch fan and upgraded to the small electric fans. 
So these mm. things cool the boat are so fucking quick. Love it. Yeah. It's just uh, so many details. And then this right here is the custom catch can and coolant overflow tank in one. Done by Entice. So he made it, custom fitted everything right here. Ooh, I mean, it just fits so perfectly <coughs> yeah. for obvious reasons. And it's two in one. Uh, you can just see the lines very well. <coughs> I mean, the craftsmanship here. Uh, the details are there. Yeah. Very cool, man. <coughs> Not only that, but we also did a AC delete. So the AC compressor was on that side and mm -hmm. the alternator usually is right here. Mm -hmm. We bought a bracket that relocates the alternator to the other side to clean up the turbo side and have like an emptier like, side right here. Focusing on, <coughs> the, on the turbo and also yeah. prevents any, you know. So oh, it's just wow. easier to get to everything right here. It's much cleaner. And then everything that is, that's on that side, now the alternator and everything. Interesting. So no AC no more, but it looks cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. love it. Man, I mean, everything about this car is super clean. I mean, I can't even think of anything else to ask. It's just <laughs> I'm uh, definitely amazed of the craftsmanship here. Yeah, they did a good, a good job here. Amazing job. Yeah, amazing job. Uh, transmission, what do we got? So that's where it's a little sketchy. I'm still running a W58 transmission, which is considered a... I want to say a glass transmission in a way. Oh, that's, um, I don't think you want to. Okay, <laughs> this right here, <laughs> and a glass transmission so, doesn't go. <laughs> so people say, you blow that trans at 500. You know, I was like, if I blow it, then I'll buy a, trans, a stronger trans. So what I plan to do is get the Grand ST56 six speed in the future. But I was like, if this works for now, it'll save me some money, and then I'll be able to save up for that later on. And, you know, I ran it, and that's the, my biggest worry when we were on the dyno was my transmission. Right. But it held up, and I've been fucking cruising it, boosting it, and that's just been holding is up. Is it good? Yeah. Love it. But we'll see how long that shit lasts until it fucking... Oh, yeah. I mean, well, that's me. what it is. But, but I mean, honestly... It is what it is. That's the Honestly, name of the when game. it comes to modifying <coughs> cars, something's yeah. going to break. Shit yeah. happens. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not course. worried. I'm not tripping. If it does happen, it is what it is. Gotcha. But... But it's been holding up, you know, and people trip out like, are you running a 350? I'm like, I don't know, bro, just cruising it. <laughs> I'll let you know when yeah. it doesn't run. But uh, the only thing I don't do is I don't, you know, do burnouts or, Hard you know, launches, yeah. Hard launches, like, that'll break it for sure. Yeah, that's, <clears throat> that's why it's a Just a ease up into the boost and you're chilling. What kind of clutch are you running? It's a ATC, AT, ACT six puck clutch. Okay. Yeah. So you mentioned that, uh, <coughs> has it been tuned? It Dino? has been tuned by Daniel Butler at Church Automotive. Okay. Yeah. And do you mind sharing numbers? It made 510 with 18 pounds of boost. So nothing crazy. You know, <laughs> just perfect for a street car. <laughs> 18 pounds of boost, <laughs> five something, nothing crazy. Okay. We have two definitions of nothing crazy, so but okay. It's got room for more, but the trans is... The trans <laughs> that's what's holding it back. But not only that, I'm holding myself back because, like I said, it's a non-turbo car, so I'm trying to get used to the boost still. I'm trying to get used to this shit, so... I don't want to, you know, definitely to get carried away with it right now. I get you. I get you. So 500, you. I've been having fun with it. Okay. And then did you guys upgrade <coughs> the uh, differential or anything like that? Stock differential, stock everything. Axles, yeah. everything stock? Yeah. So we'll see when that goes too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Russian roulette with this car. <laughs> I love it, man. We'll see when that she goes. <laughs> and how long have you had this setup for? Uh, we've got it finished up like at the end of November. Oh, okay. It's still kind of new to me. Thank you so much, man, for making some time for us. So, oh, yeah. I mean, amazing build is an understatement <laughs> when it comes to this. Uh, and again, thank you so much to Entice Motorsports for opening up the shop uh, and creating this masterful, right. wonderful, <laughs> uh, you know, motion uh, art.